Think of your ordinary glasses. And now imagine that with the single push of a button, they switch into sunglasses. Or let's go further. What if your new sunglasses are connected to your phone and can also display your messages? Wouldn't that be cool? This is, in theory, possible. The technology is called electrochromism, and Middle East Technical University played one of the key roles in its development. Electrochromic materials are specially designed polymers that are able to change their color or level of transparency when they are subjected to small electrical potential. In this way, it becomes possible to create simple screens or glazings for various purposes. To really understand electrochromics, we have to know how current displays are designed. Let's go a little bit deeper. Today's LED LCD screens are composed of millions of tiny pixels. Every pixel is made up of individual sub-pixels, colored either in red, green, or blue. Each of these sub-pixels controls the amount of light that passes through them, and the mixture of these three primary colors determines the final shade of color that our eyes perceive for that pixel. This is called the RGB Additive Color Model. Electrochromic polymers also work very similar to these LED LCDs in our TVs and phone screens. However, there's a catch. Many red and blue colored polymers have been discovered up to date, but neutral state green polymers have always been very limited, and the ones that were created did not perform well enough. So the technology was able to produce neither the whole color space nor different levels of opacities. But all these changed after a series of papers published by metu chemists Görkem Günbaş, Asuman Durmuş, and Levent Topare between 2007 and 2008. Through their work, the team were able to synthesize an outstanding green polymer with the highest optical contrast in the visible region reported to date. The polymer also showed high transmissive characteristics in the oxidized state and proved to be very durable. What they did was to use donor acceptor approach with carefully selected pairs to create polymeric material that has two absorption bands in the visible region that is crucial for creating green color. Upon applied potential, these bands simultaneously depleted to reach a highly transmissive state. Initial studies revealed the success of the concept, where later studies were concentrated on creating solution processable derivatives towards industrial applications. Completion of the RGB color space was a major step in the production of electrochromic displays. However, commercialization of the technology did not follow the same path. Today, rather than screens, electrochromic materials are used more to produce self-darkening window glazings to cut sunlight, like the windows of Boeing 787-8 planes. The smart glasses we mentioned earlier, however, have to wait for further research to become real. <laughs>